Hi, my name is Jess. I'm a Maryville University student. I'm in the Nurse Practitioner Program, and today I'm going to be doing a head, ears, eyes, nose, and throat examination. Uh, this is my husband, Andrew. He is a 31-year-old male, and he is going to be playing a part of my patient today. Hello. So he's going to start off by reading uh, the appropriate statement. I, Andrew Birch, voluntarily give Maryville University permission to record my image and or voice and grant Maryville University all rights to use this recording in any medium for educational or other purposes that support the mission of the university. I understand that the following information will be gathered by a Maryville University student as part of a course assignment. I give my express consent for this information gathering and physical assessment to be filmed and posted in the student's course shell for access by faculty and students at Maryville University. I further acknowledge that since the recording is for educational purposes only and the information is not meant to be diagnostic. Therefore, Maryville University, the faculty, staff, and students are not considered liable. The recording will be deleted by the student and any other of their devices as soon as it's been reviewed and graded by the instructor. All right, so we're going to go ahead and begin the exam. I'm going to start out by just um, examining the head. I'm noticing that its color, contour, shape are all regular. Nothing seems to be um, non-symmetrical. Um, hair growth pattern looks to be good. I'm just going to palpate and notice that there's no masses. Any tenderness? No. Nope. All right, and that is good. So next I'm going to be moving on to the eyes. I'm first examining the eyes and inspecting um, for any asymmetry. asymmetry. Um, they do both look to be symmetrical. Uh, there doesn't appear to be any drainage in the lacrimal gland. Um, I, um, eyelashes are moved out appropriately. They're not facing inward. The sclera is white and the pupils are both uh, about two to three millimeters and the iris is both brown. Go ahead and look up for me. All right, conjunctiva looks good. It is pink and moist and both look to be appropriate. <coughs> so we're gonna move on, we're gonna test vision. Um, which is the cranial nerve number two with the modified Snelling chart. I'm going to stand six feet away and I'm going to have you read off, we'll cover your right eye and read off the smallest line you can read. LTFPH. Perfect. That is 20-20, which means at 20 feet, you can see what the average person sees at 20 feet, which is really good. <laughs> All right. Next, we're going to move on to, we're going to be testing peripheral vision. So I'm going to have you again cover your right eye. I'm going to cover my right, my left eye. So tell me when you can see my fingers. I see it. See it. Good. See it. All right. In that test, you can go ahead and uncover your eye. That tests your peripheral vision, and because my peripheral vision was thought to be appropriate, I would assume that yours is too, because you both saw my fingers at the same time. So next, I'm going to just check your um, pup your pupillary response. Go ahead and look normal and direct and consensual. So I would expect to see that both pupils would constrict when the light meets his eyes. So I'm also going to test, so go ahead with my thin light. All right, and that test for accommodation to see that his pupils also constrict when the object comes near. I'm going to check your uh, fields of vision. This checks the uh, third, fourth, and sixth cranial nerve. You can just follow my thin light. And I'm noticing through this that their um, both eyes are moving appropriately, um, very fluid motions, no nystagmus, um, that both eyes are in alignment, uh, no strabismus, and um, is following the commands. So next, I'm going to check, I'm going to look at your inner eye. I'm going to use the ophthalmoscope and turn it on. So mine, unfortunately, is not easy to change my index finger, but that is normally how you would change it. Start on zero, move out a foot away, and I'm gonna be checking his left eye with my left eye and using my left hand. So we're gonna look straight at the wall behind me. And up, head up just a little bit. All right, I'm checking for the red reflex, which I do see. I'm gonna go in a little bit closer. I'm looking for the blood vessels, which I do see leading to the optic disc, which is a nice creamy, yellowish pink and the macula at about two o'clock. So that is appropriate. Sorry, it's a little bright. So that is good. All right, next we're gonna move on to your nose. Okay, I am looking to see that it is straight. There's no deviation. Um, can you go ahead and breathe out this side? So mildly congested with seasonal allergies. That, that was a known expected finding. All right, I don't seem to see any drainage. I'm just going to palpate here. Any tenderness? 
the frontal sinuses? Yeah. All right, how about the maxillary? Yeah. All right, good. So I am gonna go ahead Change these. We're looking at your nose. Yeah. All right, just a little bit. Good. All right, what I'm noticing are those nice and pink turbulence are good. Um, doesn't seem to be any perforation, deviation, um, and no drainage. On that side. All right. So next, I'm also going to test your olfactory cranial nerve one. You don't know what this scent is. All right. If you can go ahead and tell me what this scent is, or at least close. Sounds like a brownie. One hundred percent right. That is intact. All right. So next, I'm going to move on to the ears again, inspecting. Both are symmetrical. Both look good. Any tenderness? No. Okay, noting no tenderness, no masses are noted, drainage, uh, no drainage. And I have, yep, I changed that one out. All right, so I'm going to hold off on that actually. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start with the whisper test. Okay. It's just going to be testing here. I know I'm going to be an arm length away, and I'm going to repeat two words. Um, I'm going to say two words, and you can repeat them back to me. Golden. Good. Husky. Very good. So I would do that on the other side. And all the things that I'm doing here um, on one side, I would obviously do to the other side during a normal examination without time constraints. Uh, in, that case, in that case scenario, if you were to get less than 50% right, I would refer on to a specialist for hearing. But you got those both right. All right. And then on to the next test. This is called the Weber test. So I'm going to hit this against my hand. I'm going to put it on the top of your head. And you're going to tell me if you hear it in your right ear, your left ear, or both equally. Both. Good. And that is a normal finding. So the next test is the Rena test. I'm going to put this behind your ear. And when you stop hearing the sound, we'll move to the front. And you got to let me know when. So when you stop hearing it behind your ear, let me know. And then I'll move it. All right, so that would be a normal finding. Behind his ear and bone conduction, I heard he heard it for 12 seconds, and when I moved it to the front, it had been a total of 24, which would be a normal finding. Um, you should be able to hear um, air conduction twice as long as bone conduction, which is good. So next, I'm going to look inside your ear. Again, I've noticed that there is no drainage nodes on the outside. Everything looks symmetrical. I'm gonna pull the antenna up and back to straighten out the ear canal. Gently. All right, and inside, I can't see the tym tympanic membrane. There doesn't appear to be any fluid, um, no redness. Looks pretty good. There is some sodium in there. Um, so, other than that, looks good. Okay. So next, we're gonna look inside the mouth. Open your mouth for me. Good. Can you smile? Good. Symmetrical. Uh, go ahead and open again. Tongue to the roof of your mouth. So I'm looking under his tongue specifically for any um, ulcers or um, cancers looking lesions off the side. Good. Just moving this over a little bit. All right. And the gingiva looks pink, moist. Uh, the gums look good. Hard and soft palate looks good. If you can stick out your tongue. And I cannot see his tonsils, which means they're, yep, they're. Farther back, not visible, which is a normal finding. Hmm. Right. And last, I'm just going to look at your neck. So again, it does seem to be symmetrical. Um, no lesions, no scarring. Any tenderness? No. Good. I'm looking at the lymph nodes. Good. 
good. And then trachea up here to the midline, not to palpate the thyroid, normal thighs. And that concludes our assessment. Thank you.